Welcome learners. This is teacher Rojab and our class is history. We are getting to look at Aliman and in Aliman we are still looking at stages of evolution of man. And this is your channel, Elimu TV, where we get to watch and learn. Now for the past few lessons we did introduce the stages, the stages of evolution of man and we have already looked at three stages and now today we're going to look at the fourth stage which is homo habilis. Now class, what do we expect at the end of the lesson? We get to know, or rather we get to state the characteristics or the features of homo habilis. Now this is another significant stage in development or rather in evolution of man. As we now we are moving, man is his appearance or rather the, 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 the stages that are moving now, they are closer to that of modern man. Now, homo, from its meaning, it means like it is more of man, right? Homo means more like man. Now, the homo habils, rather habils, means ability. Meaning, this is a more like man who had ability. Now, look at yourself. You have an ability to walk. You have an ability of making tools. You have an ability of holding, right? You have an ability of making better uh, places of shelter, right? You have an ability of reasoning more than the early man. That is what it means by more like man and having an ability like that of man. Now, the, the remains of Homo habilis were first discovered at Old Valley George, which is in Tanzania. Now, can you get to look at the features of Homo habilis? Now, Homo habilis was more like man, right? Look at that image there, right? It is close to that of man. It is more like man. If you can't uh, look clearly, you can even confuse that, uh, that, that image with someone you know, right? That is Homo habilis. He was close to man and he had an ability like that of man. Now let us get to look at other features of Homo habilis that he was about five feet in height. Get to look at uh, uh, Dreopithecus. Drapithecus was four feet, right? And he weighed four kgs. But if you get to look at Homo habilis, he was five feet in height. Can you get to see? Look at him, right? He was approximately five feet in height. What about the tools? What are some of the tools that Homo habilis made? Now, we must realize that Homo habilis, he made tools we call the pebble tools. What are these pebble tools? These are tools that were made out of stone, and they were sharp stones, right? They were sharp-edged stones. If you can clearly look at that image, or rather those tools that are there, they are very sharp. They have got very sharp ends, right? Those are what we call the people tools. They were made by Homo habilis. Now, can you get to look at the skull? The skull was similar to that of modern man. And we said earlier, earlier I did introduce, or rather I did show you images of Alima, of the skull of Aliman. Now in the Homo habilis, he was close to that of modern man. Look at that skull, very close to modern man, right? Look at the eye sockets, right? Look at the forehead, right? Very close to man. Another, another skull there, very close to man. Look at the nose, good. Look at the eye sockets, look at the forehead also. The whole skull, it is closer to that of man. But let, again, let us look at, did he have an ability to grasp objects? Oh yes, he had an ability, right? He had an ability to grasp objects. Look at that, he can hold now, right? Meaning he could fold his fingers, right? He could hold something between his, his fingers. Look at the first image, right? The fingers are, are, are folded together. Look at our second image also, the fingers right? The fingers were able to, to hold, rather to, 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 to fold and grasp an object. Now those are some of the few features of Homo habilis. And as we have said, Homo habilis was closer to man. He was more of that of man. He had an ability like that of man, right? Look at the, the, the ability of grasping objects. For example, can you grasp, grasp, grasp something, right? Good. So the ability you have is the same ability that Homo habilis had. Now, those are some of the features of Homo habilis 
as another stage of evolution of man. Now class, can we get to state the tools or rather name the tools that were used by homo, homo habilis? And also, on addition to that, can you get to give the uses? What were some of the uses of those to stone tools that homo habilis used? And for our research, can we get to refer to evolving world, history form to the sixth edition by University of Oxford Press? Kindly, we we'll want to hear your feedback via SMS line. Also, watch our videos on, on, on YouTube, Elimu TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, like our, our, our Facebook account, our Facebook fan page, which is Elimu TV. Also, you can tweet us at Elimu TV Kenya, underscore Kenya. As always, Elimu TV is your favorite channel where you get to watch and learn.